The most magical Christmases was when me and my sister Stacy would wake up early before everyone else to find out if Santa had come. We would jump out of our bunk beds and sneak into the lounge room where our four Christmas stockings would sit on the chairs we placed around the Christmas tree the night before. All four stockings would overflow with presents and the milk and cookies would all be gone. We had to wait until everyone else was awake before we could open our Santa presents. Dad would eat his breakfast while Mum grabbed the handheld camera and Beck would wait with us while our other sister Ali would enjoy her sleep in. After we took turns opening our presents from Santa, we would pack all the other gifts into the boot of our car and head down the road to Mamba and Grandad's farm. My auntie and uncle would already be there eating some of the Christmas leftovers from our Christmas Eve feast the night before. We would all gather in the lounge room and sit around my grandmother's small tree that would smell so festive. The room was always decorated with a line of handwritten Christmas cards she received throughout December and a smell of last night's roast would still be lingering through the old timber house. We would wait patiently each year for our other uncle to finally arrive so we can start the gift giving process. Some years this took hours as there would be over 14 of us all exchanging gifts in Mama's tiny living room in the middle of summer. After all the presents were gone, we would test out our new toys while we filled our stomachs again until we ate ourselves into a food coma. Later that day, we would head over to Nan and Pop's house where the gift exchange would happen again and would play with our cousins we only saw once a year. I remember each year we would go swimming in Pop's overly chlorined pool and each year we would complain how overly chlorine it would be. But I never wanted the day to end. Christmas lost its magic when Santa stopped coming. When Pop passed away, so did the Macau and Christmas. When Mama left the farm, so did the Book of Christmas. We were just left with a small Santa-less Christmas. Then, when I moved out of home, all the Christmas magic had gone away. But I've come to realise that the thing I loved more than the magic of Santa was the magic of the whole family being together. It's been a while since the whole family has been together and that's why I already feel like this Christmas will be a little bit magical. This year I get to introduce my new nieces and nephews to the family tradition where we all go out onto the porch after our Christmas Eve feast and we watch the skies for any signs of Santa.
even though he stopped delivering to me a long time ago, he's coming back into our Christmas once again.